how to enable LAN routing in Windows Server 2012 R2. In this video tutorial, we will see how to enable routing among network adapters in Windows Server 2012 R2. Although the same procedure can be used on previous versions of Windows Server system as well. This feature is a part of remote access and it allows for connecting two networks together. Allowing a Windows machine with at least two NIC on a two separate networks to handle the routing between them. So for this demonstration, this is the our lab scenario. We have a two networks, one is 192.168.49.0 and another one is 192.168.50.0. For this demonstration, I have a total three VM. First one is our domain controller and the IP address of our domain controller is 192.168.49.5 and we have a one client computer. The client's IP address is 192.168.50.11 but as you can see, the gateway's IP address is 192.168.50.1 and that is the IP address of our this VM. We want to configure LAN routing on this Windows Server 2012 R2 VM. On that VM, we have a two NIC. One network A, the IP address on that NIC is 192.168.49.1 and the other NIC has the IP 192.168.50.1. So first of all, let's check the IP configuration on our domain controller. This is our domain controller and as you can see the computer name is srt-dc01, our domain name is mylab.local and the IP address assigned on this computer is 192.168.49.5. If you open a command prompt and let's run a command IP config, you can see the IP address is 192.168.49.5 and the default gateway is 192.168.49.1, that is the IP address of our router. This is the our Windows Server 2012 R2 computer on which we are planning to configure LAN routing. And on that server, we have a two NIC. Network A, 192.168.49.1. And we have a network B. On that, we have assigned IP 192.168.50.1. This is the our client computer. On a client computer, let's run a command IP config. And as you can see, the IP address of this client computer is 192.168.50.11. The default gateway is 192.168.50.1. Before we enable LAN routing in Windows Server 2012 R2 machine, first let's check network connectivity between our DC and our client computer. So let's ping 192.168.49.5 and that is the IP address of our domain controller. Right now, we are not able to communicate with our domain controller because we are on a different network and we didn't enable LAN routing on our Windows Server 2012 R2 machine. Let's check connectivity with our router. As you can see, we are receiving a replay from our router. So now let's enable LAN routing in our Windows Server 2012 R2 computer. Let's move to our Windows Server 2012 R2 machine. And on that machine, let's click on Manage, select Add Roles and Features. On Before You Begin page, click on Next. Now select Role Base or Feature Base installation and then click on Next. On uh, select destination server, select your local server and click on next. On select server role page, select remote access and click on next. Click on next, click on next and this time we have to select routing. Click on add feature, click on next, click on next, click on next and click on install to start the installation. So installation process is completed and now let's click on open getting started wizard. Now on configure remote access screen, select deploy VPN only. Now this will open routing and remote access console. You can also open this console from software manager, then click on tools and select routing and remote access. Let's close this console. Now on this console, you will see a red down arrow over your server name. Right click on server name and select configure and enable routing and remote access. Click on next. Now we want to configure LAN routing on LAN. That's why I'm going to select custom configuration. Click on next. Now this time we have to select LAN routing only. Let's click on next and click on finish. Click on start service to so start the service. Now your routing and remote access server is ready. Your both private networks should communicate now. So let's move to our client computer 
and let's ping to our domain controller. Ping 100.168.49.5 and that is the IP address of our domain controller. Now, as you can see, we are receiving a replay from our domain controller. Let's run a command result and let's specify the IP address of our domain controller. As you can see, the first loop is 192.168.50.1 and that is the IP address of our these routers network base interface. And the next one is 192.168.49.5. Let's move to our client computer again. Now, so just for testing purpose, I'm going to disable a routing and remote access service. Let's click on yes. Okay, so now service is disabled. If we check the ping on our client computer, as you can see, now our client is not able to communicate with our domain controller. Let's again configure. Select configure and enable routing and remote access. Click on next, select custom configuration, click on next, select land routing, click on next and click on finish. Click on start service to start the service. And once you enable routing and remote access service, your client is again able to communicate with our domain controller in another network. So this is the way how we can enable land routing in Windows Server 2012 Arduino computer with 2NIC. That's it for this demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.